Hello, this is Sister Charlene Winston, and I'm coming to you today with this week's Sunday School Bible Study. I want to thank each of you as we join together in growing stronger in the Word of God. Our lesson for today is God's choice for Isaac. And our lesson is coming from Genesis 24, verse 10 through 20, and 26 through 28. I will pray that each of you, as we study the word together, we become stronger and, and able to be doers of the word and not hearers only, as we understand the word more clearly. And as we said, the lesson today is God's choice for Isaac. And we want to answer just a few questions concerning this lesson as we go through uh, what would the servant ask one of the girls. Uh, not, uh, the second question could be what would show this girl was thoughtful and not lazy. Uh, the third question, what was the, the name of the girl the servant chose to ask? Uh, can you describe the young lady, what she uh, was like, or what they, what they stated about her in the word? Hey Amen. These are just a few of the questions that you think about this lesson, that you come up with more uh, questions that comes from this chapter as you study it and meditate on this, on this word. We want to ask that if something is said that touches your spirit, heart, soul, or you have any questions, please feel free to come in at the bottom. And also, if something is said that touches you, your heart, your soul, uh, something uh, uh, that uh, brings uh, memories to mind, please uh, subscribe to my channel that we may grow together in learning the word of the Lord. I mean, we, you may not, it may not be something new that you hadn't heard, but it may be something that is said that reminds you of a lesson that you learned in, in, in your younger years. Uh, so as we study the word together, I pray that you join with me on this channel and we grow stronger in the Lord. Uh, before we go any further, we're going to get ready and have prayer, and then we're going to start into the lesson. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, that you are our all in all. We thank you, Lord, that you are our counselor. You, we thank you that you are wonderful and God Almighty. We thank you, Lord, that you are our everlasting Father and our Prince of Peace. Lord, at this time, we pronounce healing, deliverance, protection for anyone under the sound of my voice. For you said in your word, by your stripes, we are healed, or we were healed. And we claim that healing and walk in that healing right now. And that anyone that at the sound of my voice, they can be healed right now of infirmities, of, of, of pain, of discomfort, uh, as they... Uh, Go forth and, and, and walk in healing and, and accept healing for themselves. Amen. I pronounce protection uh, for any situation that may cause hurt, harm, or danger. I claim a change in any circumstance for each of you that is not beneficial to the strengthening and building up of your faith as the Holy Spirit connects to each of us knowing our needs at this time. We want to make sure that we speak those things that are not as though they are, that we may uh, become uh, and remain and grow stronger in our faith. We want, we want to ask the Lord that he would open our eyes, that we are able to see clearly our ears, and that we are able to hear, and that we have wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from on high to receive what the Holy Spirit would have for each of us as we study the Word of God to go forth and be doers of his Word. Amen. Uh, we want to thank the Lord for uh, getting ready. We're going to get started. Uh, first, I want to ask if anyone that's at the sound of my voice that has not been uh, accepted Christ as their Lord and Savior, please stop now and accept him as your Lord and Savior. Uh, confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead and receive him as your Lord and Savior. And then go and join to a Bible-based based church, get baptized, and walk in the knowledge and the, and the learning of Christ as you go forth in your uh, new life, in your new uh, um, life in Christ Jesus. Amen. We're going to get ready and start with our lesson, God's Choice for Isaac. Genesis 24, verses 10 through 20, and 26 through 28. And the servant took ten camels of the, 
of the camels of his master and departed for all the goods of his master were in his hand. And he arose and went to Mesopotamia unto the city of Nahor. And he made his camels to kneel down without the city by a well of water at the time of the evening, even the time that women go out to draw water. And he said, O Lord God of my master, Abraham, I pray thee, send me good speed this day and show kindness unto my master Abraham. Behold, I stand here by the well of water, and the daughters of the men of the city come out to draw water, and let it come to pass that the dasmal to whom I shall say, Let down thy pitcher, I pray thee, that I may drink, and she shall say, Drink, and I will give thy camels drink also. Let the same be she that thou hast appointed for thy servant Isaac, and thereby shall I know that thou hast shewed kindness unto my master. And it came to pass, before he had done speaking, that, behold, Rebekah had came out, who was born to Bethuel, son of Melchi, the wife of Nahor, Abraham's brother, and her picture upon her shoulder. And the dasma was very fair to look upon, a virgin, neither had any man known her. And she went down to the well and filled her pitcher and came up. And the servant ran to meet her and, and said, Let me, I pray thee, drink a little water of thy pitcher. And she said, Drink, my lord. And she hastened and let down her pitcher upon her hand and gave him drink. And when she had gone had done giving him drink, she said, I will draw water for thy camels also until they have done drinking. And she hastened and emptied her pitcher into the trough and ran again unto the well to draw water and drew for all the camels. And the men and the man bowed down his head and worshiped the Lord. And he said, Blessed be the Lord God of my master Abraham who have not left destitute my master of his mercy and his truth. I, I being in the way, the Lord led me to the house of my master's brethren. And the Dasma ran and told them of her mother's house these things. Amen, amen. This is a great and powerful lesson. As we see here, the servant learns the power and the blessings that... Uh, Abraham knew by going forth and, and uh, doing as he was asked to do. Amen. Uh, we're going to get ready and get started uh, uh, explaining our uh, talking on the lesson. Uh, this, uh, starting with the 10th verse, it says, And the servant took 10 camels of the, of the camels of his master and departed, for all the goods of his master were in his hand. And he arose and went to Mesopotamia unto the city of Nahor. And he made his camel to kneel down without the city by a well of water at the time of the evening, even the time that women go out to draw water. And he said, O Lord God of my master Abraham, I pray thee, send me good speed this day and show kindness unto my master Abraham. Behold, I stand here by the well of water. And the daughters of the men of the city come out to draw water. As we see here, uh, first of all, the servant that uh, Abraham was sending out was someone he trusted very much because he was uh, the head of his house. He was the head of Abraham's house. And so as he trusted him to do as he asked him, he called him to him and, and told him what he wanted him to do and, and, and the, the qualifications of what, how he wanted him to go forth. And, and as he went forth, he began to go forth, he got... Uh, as they always gave in those days uh, uh, marital uh, blessings to the family, the mother and father of the daughter that was to be uh, received as a, a bride. And so he took the camels and, and many of the things that Abraham had to give to the, to, uh, the, the, the woman's 
family. So as he found what Abraham had asked him to go. And so he was prepared. Uh, he was not going and say, I will come back and get what I need to give. He was going prepared. He was going ready with a mind that I shall receive what uh, the Lord is, uh, is sending, what my master is sending me from through the Lord. He will uh, allow, uh, bless uh, his servant Abraham through me. It said, when the steward came to seek a wife for his master, he did not go to places of amusement and sin for pleasure and pray that he might meet one there, but to the well of water, expecting to find there employed a right. He prayed that God would, ple be, would please to make his way in this matter plain and clear before him. Amen. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, as he went uh, and he became, came to the well of water, he, he was at the area uh, of the city that he was supposed to go to, and he knew that the women uh, came out to draw water. He didn't go to the areas where uh, women that was a, a, a flighty or, uh, would be at at this time. He went to where the women that were, were workers of their home uh, was be uh, busy doing what they were supposed to do and he went to that area and waited uh, and asked God to give him guidance and to, to, to go forth in what he was doing and it's the and uh, the 14th verse and it and let it come to pass that the dasma to whom I shall say let down thy pitcher I pray thee that I may drink and she shall say drink and I will give thy camels drink also let the same be she that thou hast appointed for thy servant Isaac, and thereby shall I know that thou hast shewed kindness unto my master. As we see hospitality required giving water to a thirsty stranger in those days, but not to animals, a woman who would do that was, un was unusually kind and served beyond the call of duty. Rebecca's servant attitude was revealed in verse 15 to 20, she, she, uh, as was her beauty and purity in verse 16. This servant, like so many of us today, was entering very strange territory. He had no idea on his own how to seek Isaac a wife. He asked God for help. His plan was a good one because all the women of the city came to this well for water. Camels drink tremendous amounts of water, so the girl who offered to draw water for them would, first of all, be very industrious and also have a great concern for people and animals in need. This humble spirit in this girl would be just right for Isaac's wife. Notice that this servant spoke of God as Abraham's God. This servant was intelligent to be able to figure out this uh, plan and lay it before God. Excuse me for that uh, interruption, uh, but we're going to continue on. And as I was saying, that we notice here that uh, the servant spoke uh, of God of uh, God as Abraham's God. The servant was an intelligent man that he knew uh, uh, that he, he knew that his his uh, master uh, Abraham always uh, prayed to God, and so he in turn prayed to God. He saw what he he mimicked what he saw. If people see us praying, then they will begin to pray. But if, he, if we are children of God and they never see us praying, then what would make us think that they would begin to pray? They're supposed to see what we do and they're supposed to follow us. And as we follow Christ, we are supposed to be as he was. Amen. The 15 and 16 verse says, And it came to pass, before he had done speaking, that, God, that behold, Rebekah came out, who was born to Bethuel, son of Melchi, the wife of Nahor, Abraham's brother, with her pitcher upon her shoulder. And the dasma was very fair to look upon, a virgin, neither had any man known her. And she went down to the well and filled her pitcher and came up. And so as we see here, Rebecca uh, is in, 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 in aim to do what she's supposed to do. She's not uh, 
uh, trying to stay and, and, and carry on conversation. She's going straight to do what her job is. As uh, he, we, we, he finds out that this is uh, a daughter uh, of, of, the, of Bethuel, the son of Melchi, the wife of Nahor, Abraham's brother. This is, is a, a very great thing that God has opened the door and it immediately before he could quit speaking. And I have even seen God work in my life in things of that in different areas of my life where God answers the prayer before I can finish praying it. Uh, not all of them, but some of them I have seen where God answered prayer where, before I could finish praying them. Amen. And many times, of course, there was uh, things that uh, that I wanted to help others, that I wanted to be a blessing to others, that I wanted to grow stronger in different areas. God opened the way that I made that it came to pass. So our times are in God's hand, not only events themselves, but the times of them. We must take heed of being overbold and urging what God should do, lest the event should weaken our faith rather than strengthen it. But God owned him by making his way clear. Rebecca, in all respects, answered the characters he sought for the for in the woman that was to be his master's wife. When she came to the well, she went down and filled her pitcher and came up to go home with it. She didn't stop to talk. She didn't. Uh, stopped to uh, ask who the stranger was or what he was doing there. She took care of her business and was going home. The 17th through the 20, uh, 28th verse, it says, And the servant ran to meet her and said, Let me, I pray thee, drink a little water of thy pitcher. And she said, Drink, my lord. And she tasted and let down her pitcher upon her shoulder and gave him drink. And when she had done giving him drink, she said, I will draw water for thy camels also until thou have done drinking. As he is pleased to see that God has answered his prayer immediately right after before he could finish speaking it. Since she hastened and emptied her pitcher into the trough and ran again unto the well to draw water and, and drew all for all his camels. It said, and the man bowed down his head and worshiped the Lord. And the man bowed his head to show that a deep sense he had of the divine goodness and in humble acknowledgement of the favors he received in being thus providentially directed and worshiped God, gave thanks unto him that he had thus far prospered him, hoping and believing that things were in good forwardness to according to his master's mind and will. The 27th and 28th verse is saying, he say, and he said, Blessed be the Lord God of my master Abraham, who has not left destitute my master of his mercy and his truth. I being in the way, the Lord led me to the house of my master's brethren, and the Dasma ran and told them in, of her mother's house, these things. Amen. As we see here, he giving thanks to God. He's uh, asking, uh, thanking God that he was uh, in the place and standing in place for Abraham and that God answered his prayer through him. It said, the Dasma ran, having invited him to come and lodge at, at her father's house, that he might not uh, be brought in abruptly. She ran before to acquaint the family of what had had uh, took place and told them of her mother's house these things. She did not go to her father to inform him of it, but rather uh, ran to her mother because uh, women's uh, dealt more with the mother and then they let allowed the mother to manage uh, talk to the father about the, uh, uh, business matters. We want to thank the Lord. This is a great lesson. And as we see him, I was studying on this chapter and it was said that Camels could drink up to 25 gallons of water. And so if this child was bringing water to his camels and he had 10 camels, that was a lot of water to fill them up. Amen. It was a, a blessed thing that she was in, that she came and had the right frame of mind of being kind and generous without thought and went straight to help someone in need, but did not 
go forward without being asked in the first place. Amen. This is a wonderful lesson. I pray you meditate on this great lesson. And y'all have a blessed and wonderful week.